Today, I want to talk to you and to help you understand how to manage God's money. <laughs> you see, when you say it like that, many take offense because we like to own things. My money, my this, my coat, my dress, my pullover, my everything. According to the scriptures, this is the principle. And this principle, I assume I'm sharing with people who are born again, who are God's children, who understand the mind of God and how the kingdom citizen, uh, uh, and how the kingdom system, you know, of wealth and stewardship operates. Psalms 24 verse 1, you own nothing. God created all things, so he owns all things. There is nothing you have received that it has not been given to you. There is nothing you have in effect that is yours. God who created all things owns all things, including you and money. The money you are managing. Yes, you. And I'm charging you to take up responsibility from this day to ensure that your local church is developed. Again, furthermore, I'm charging you to understand your duty as a child of God. It's not enough to talk the word. It's another dimension to start practicing this thing. It's time to get on board. So I want to talk with you about how, or to you right now, excuse me, about how to use God's money. And I'm emphasizing because it's not yours. That's our mindset. You are simply and me a steward. We are stewards, managers, caretakers. It's been entrusted to our care. Think about it. And according to principles of management, God ex expects that you should be loyal, countable, truthful, honest, diligent, faithful. These are core values of management. I've been talking about this over and over in the short videos I'm making with regards to the new book uh, God enabled me to write and release. It's available on tithing. And so in, you need to know as a manager that God wants you to begin with a minimum consistent contribution of 10% of everything you have. For the welfare of your local church, the church where you belong, or any church from which you are receiving spiritual nourishment in all honesty, church committed to doing the work of the kingdom. Oh, yeah. Now, if I own something and I've entrusted into your care and I give you an instruction on how to use it, if you do not do it like that, you're a bad manager, you're a disloyal, you're disrespectful, it means you cannot be accountable. You see, when we talk tithing, giving the 10% part, which oftentimes we assess in terms of money. Check my video on this. Many people think we want to emphasize money. We are teaching the principle behind tithing, which is about stewardship, which is about accountability, which is about loyalty, which is about commitment. And in return, when you submit to doing what God wants, he entrusts you with more resources. He blesses you more and more. Okay. So how do I manage God's money in my care? Number one, God says, minimum, get a 10% contribution and ensure that the work of ministry in his local church is blessed. Then God again says, he's nine-tenth, that is left, 90%, that is left. He now says, I'm permitting you because you now are diligent, you are faithful in doing this little. I can trust you to effectively manage what is left from it. You can do your arms giving, save, invest, See, you can do um, sacrificial givings and other forms. You see, it's very important that we understand this. And pastor, man of God, uh, minister of God, head of ministries, these are principles we cannot neglect. Now, in conclusion of this, each time we talk about being diligent in handling God's money, oftentimes people think that we are trying to take up them. I have done my research and it proves that, number one, when people are charged and to commit themselves to do what God wants, they will do it lovingly. Oftentimes, they just need a push. And guess what? You cannot give God anything that is His. In return, when you do His word, He rewards you because doing His word demands faith, demands trust in Him, demands reliance on Him. It's a proof of honor of God. It's a proof of reliance on God's ability to supply your needs. So there should never be any fear in being a faithful steward. It is expected of us to us to be faithful and honest. The Bible says this. And so the 10% beginning with is the minimum. God actually says, if you can be consistent in doing this, you will do more. 
You see, when Jesus came in, he ushered us to a dimension wherein, because of the sacrificial love he's shown us, we should even do much more than just 10%. However, the basic minimum to train this manager of God's resources to be these essential values is the tithe. Is what inspires you. So tithe is not necessarily about law, the Old Testament law, which many like to emphasize on. It's much more about the principle behind this tithing. What is it that God wants me to learn? What is it he wants me to understand? Okay, have I been doing it? Trust me, anyone who is consistent with doing what God wants with the little 10%, faithful about it, will always know something. Each time they earn or each time they have anything, they know 10% belongs to the Lord. It's automatic. And by the time they are faithful in doing this, guess what? Now God releases a blessing that goes beyond the physical. It's both spiritual, it's both physical, and many more. Now, I didn't say tithing ensures that you are very rich overnight. You become a wealthy person. No way. But God ensures that you are perpetually blessed. And the outcome of that blessing, even others next to you will see, will know, and can testify of it. We need to understand this and apply this law. It will bless you. The principle behind tithing is about management. And so to use God's resources properly, God wants you to follow his way. To begin with, be faithful about the little 10%. If you train yourself like that, he will open up your understanding to deeper realms of effective financial management that the world cannot teach you and delivers you from troubles, issues that Satan would have brought in to waste the resources you have. I decree over your life, it will come to pass in Jesus' name. So tithing is about stewardship. It's about management of God's resources. You own nothing, God owns all things, and he has entrusted all he owns into your care. It is required of every manager to be faithful, to be loyal, to be accountable, to be honest, to be diligent. And the tithing God instituted, the principle behind is to be these things in you. Start practicing it. The Lord will bless you. God bless you.